tonight on Border Security. If you're not sick, not sick like you are. This party boy may have something to hide. Because I can see that you are holding your tummy loose. The offence you've committed is an extremely serious offence. This man's desperate attempt to cross the border. Didn't kill anyone, didn't rape anyone, didn't mug anyone. I will take a polygraph or whatever. Why didn't you declare them on your card? And a passenger with a different kind of declaration. I love you so much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A young party goer from Hong Kong has been pulled aside for a customs and border protection search, and a large amount of medication has been found in his bag. And all of this medicine, that's all for you? It is all for me. Yeah. It's quite a lot of medicine. Huh? Quite a lot of medicine. Uh, I think I'm because my girlfriend worked in this company, so I did every day eat this one to keep the body. He says they are just vitamin tablets, but there seems to be a lot for just one person. Yeah, so this is more medicine. Again, the same as in uh, same this yeah. bag. Same. Would you open this one for me again? Officers need to be certain that the tablets do not conceal illegal substances. Did they say that they were? So, you know, they're yeah. from different countries only, you know, like, Officers swab the passengers' belongings to test for traces of narcotics. Over at Immigration, officers have noticed a problem with the details of a passenger arriving from the UK. We have a person on a British passport who's arrived and who has been granted a working holiday visa. Some of the answers that have been given through the application may not be correct. Jared, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions and you are required to provide me truthful answers to those questions. I've got nothing to hate, so no problem. All right. What is the main purpose for you travelling to Australia today? Just chill out and relax for the first month and then hopefully do a bit of work and a bit of travelling and see your beautiful country. What's your usual occupation, Jerry? I'm a senior contracts manager for our housing trust. Now, I understand, Jared, that you've made an application for the grant of a working holiday visa. Yep. Do you understand all those questions that were asked of you? Yeah. This is your application. These but are your I statements. Yep. Yeah. The first question that is being asked in the character declaration, have you ever been convicted of a crime or an offence in any country? Would you agree that the answer to that question says no? Is, says no? Yes, I would. But the passenger should have answered yes, because as immigration know, he has served time in prison. I'm sure I wrote yes, I'm supposed to have wrote yes. Is that not what that's, not, that should be yes. And the answer to that is, it says no. It says no. At Melbourne Airport, Quarantine's X-ray is showing some organic matter in this passenger's bag. Before we start, is this your card, sir? Yeah. Is this your signature? Yes. Yeah. Did you read and understand the questions? Yeah, yeah. yeah. OK. And these are your bags? You yeah. packed yourself? Yes. So you know what's inside the bags? Yeah. OK. We're going to have a little look and see what's in there, OK? The passenger has told officers he just got married in India. His new wife is back home, but she's given him some mementos. These ones? <coughs> yeah. Foods? Yeah, just for me. Yeah. Just for you, yeah? For marriage. OK, we'll have a look inside these. Yeah, we'll just uh, see what we've got here. Sweets? Traditional sweets, yeah? yeah. For my marriage, that's right. OK. This one here is a prohibited item. Can you read question six to me, please? Uh, any food and cream dried first be cooked or uncooked. OK, yeah. so these are foods, sir. Why didn't you declare them on your card? Because of the sweet, that's why. My wife gave me just gift. 
and go there and just open. And what do you say? Yes, I love you, my darling. Can you give me something? That's all. That's very yes. sweet, sir, but that, that doesn't yeah. uh, cover the fact that you have prohibited items in your bag. So when you don't declare on here, sir, you're providing false evidence on a legal document. You can be eligible for a fine. now to see what is happening with the checks. In Sydney, a passenger has arrived with hundreds of unidentified pills, so officers have just tested his belongings for traces of narcotics. Uh, it's come up positive for ketamine, so we're just going to do some more research into it and see what, how he's got it there and what's, what he's been using. Ketamine is a strong medical anaesthetic, which is also used as a party drug. With a street name of Special K, it is a powerful and very dangerous hallucinogen. And this one and this one, they're the same? Uh, one is from USA, one is from another country. If they're the same, why is this uh, different colour? Different country. Yeah. Just what? because of that? Uh, yeah, I think so. The pills are taken away to be tested. Negative. It's negative for ketamine, so officers will use a different narcotic test that will identify a wider range of possible narcotics. So we'll just have a test of these ones now. It's come up a bit black, so black is um, MDMA or ecstasy, so we'll just do another test. While officers continue their testing, back at the bench, Officer Dusko notices the passenger is looking increasingly uncomfortable. Because I can see that you are holding your tummy, like, so just tired, you say. Yeah, tired, yeah. They can't rule out the possibility that he could be carrying drugs on his body. Quarantine Sydney Container Examination Facility, a 20-ton shipment of kiwi fruit has arrived from Italy, and officers are about to inspect the entire consignment. Part of the inspection is that we'll look at the produce of the kiwi fruit and look for things like insects such as mites, springtails, and other things that can live inside the kiwi fruit. Containers of fresh produce arrive every day and quarantine officers regularly find foreign bugs and insects that could be harmful to Australia's environment. I'm just making sure that there's no insects walking or crawling on the boxes. A sample of 600 kiwi fruits are taken inside for inspection. Officers Andrew and Shane will thoroughly examine each piece of fruit under the microscope. It's a painstaking process. You're looking for little, shiny, opaque little creatures. And they range from different colours too. Oh, there's definitely been stuff living in here. This passenger claims a mistake was made with his visa application regarding a past criminal conviction. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or an offence in any country? I don't know why something should be yes. There should be a bit at the bottom of what the page it says. Please describe in detail what happened, and that's exactly what I did. This is a passenger card. Yeah. One of the questions asked, do you have any criminal convictions? Now, you've answered yes, yes. to that. That's, 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 that's exactly. I, I was adamant it was done. His entry into Australia now depends on the details of his crime. It was very stupid. Okay, what did you do? Somebody said to me, do I earn a quite easy 500 pounds, jump in a van. So you asked to drive a van? Van, yep, yeah, with cannabis in it. Were you aware of the contents of the van at the time? Yes, I was, I'm an idiot, yes, I was. That's why I played guilty straight away. What was the quantity? I think it was about 100 kilograms. There's a fair amount. There's no excuse, but I was an idiot, but it seemed like easy money. No such thing. So you're 21 and a half when you committed that offence? Yep. <clears throat> and I got out of prison when I was almost 23. And you're 29 now. So you've been clean for six years. Totally respectable, 100%. Right. The offence you've committed is an extremely serious offence. 100% agree. 
I would never have gave up my whole life and booked flights and done all of this if I hadn't been 100% honest because I've heard scare stories before of this exact same thing happening and yourself saying, sorry, goodbye. What is it called, sir? It's Buffy. Buffy, yeah. All right, these ones are made with milk, these ones? Uh, made, uh, coconut and uh, milk. Milk, yeah. This newlywed has just arrived in Melbourne, but a gift from his wife is causing some trouble. We'll just have a look and make sure you haven't got any other foods. These are the ones we've seen on the x-ray. Like the Indian sweets, these high-risk items are also undeclared. All foods? No, it's cooking stuff. Cooking ingredients? Yeah. You cook the food and then you eat the food? Yeah. These are foods ingredients, sir, yes? This one here is nuts? Yeah. Okay. You have the option of marking nuts on two questions. Here, any food. Question seven here says nuts. Did you read this card correctly? Okay, you need to pay more attention to this card. It's very important. Just wait there for one more moment, sir, OK? <coughs> All right. I asked him earlier if there was his bags and he was aware of what's inside of his bags, and he said he was, but then he tried to um, say that it was a gift from his wife. Unfortunately, a gift from his wife doesn't cover the fact that it is a prohibited item and may pose a risk to Australia. He could be facing a strict penalty, but this newlywed is more concerned with what he'll tell his wife back home in India. I can't keep your gift with me, but I love you so much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We'll do an MDMA test on it now and see what comes up. A large amount of tablets have been found in a passenger's luggage and officers are testing them for any sign of narcotics. You can see it's come up black again. It should have come up blue, but it was positive. So that one's OK. Tests indicate that there are no traces of illegal substances in the pills, but officers are concerned that the passenger may have something concealed on his body. Have a little frisk? Because of a bit of unusual language. Yeah, that's why. That's why I want to frisk him for. Joe, yeah, mate, how are you? I'm detaining you at the moment for the purpose of a frisk search. Mm -hmm. OK, have a read of this card. Both sides, OK? Then let me know once you finish reading it. Okay, you okay to have the search done? Oh. Yeah? Uh, okay. okay. This officer will be doing the search. Okay, he won't touch your skin, just outside okay. of your clothing, okay? Arm um, straight out like this. Just lift your foot. Thank you. Officers have finished the frisk search and nothing has been found. Today we've a negative result for us is um, explain the positive readings. He said he's used drugs in the past. He'll be allowed to leave the area as soon as he's packed up. Oh, there's definitely been stuff living in here. Quarantine officers are inspecting a shipment of Italian kiwi fruit and have found signs of insects living in the fruit. There's evidence that they've been here. There's a lot of webbing, so the mites have been in there. I think I've got something, Shane. What have you got? Don't go, don't go. I'll get the insect vial ready for you. Yeah, you can grab me a vial? Yeah, sure. Andrew has found a worm-like creature crawling on a piece of fruit. Easy, tiger. It's moving pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah. What I found is I believe to be a, a leaf roller. It's a type of moth in the larvae form. So this is the one that's had the worm in it. It's quite soft, mushy. The fruit basically starts to rot. If the fruit had gone to market unchecked, the damage to Australia's industry could have been devastating. And it's not the only bug hiding in the shipment. Oh, I found something. What have you got? Hang on, it's moving. Anybody that's watching this, don't do what I did. Somebody offers you a free money or easy money, don't take it because you pay for it for the rest of your life.
A passenger is being questioned by immigration for providing conflicting information about his criminal past. He was sure that he provided information about the offence that he committed. Okay. It's not there on our systems. No, it isn't. Um, and the answer is clearly indicating no to that question. The fact is that he do have criminal convictions, and that he has spent a considerable amount of time in prison, which is being 15 months, yeah. and he was sentenced to two, two years and nine months. Yeah. From age zero to 21 and a half years old, never, ever, ever done anything, right? Made one mistake, paid for it there and then, since he's been out, since he's been almost 23, has just got better and better and better. I'm a senior contracts manager now. I, I run 100 people, I do, I do the whole lot, I pay my taxes, I've done the whole lot. Unless I look into it on a personal basis, I've got no chance. Now Officer Ross serves a notice of intent to cancel his visa. I will leave the room for 10 minutes. Yep. I will then come back and you can provide me with your response to my intention of cancelling your visa. So this could be the passenger's last hope of continuing on his Australian working holiday. And that's what I'm hoping for today. Slim chance to get out on Sunday and have a wash, please. At the start of this process, I asked you if these were your bags and you were aware what was inside, didn't I? This passenger has failed to declare any of his food items, some of which pose a significant threat to Australia's biosecurity. $220 today. This is a fine, a quarantine infringement of $220. You didn't declare your foods on the card correctly, OK? Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? Yeah. Yeah? Some items prohibited. These ones are high risk. If you want to just grab it, no worries. I call my girlfriend. It's not going to be a matter of just throwing them away and you can leave, sir. We need to finalise this matter. Milk is prohibited, OK? You cannot bring milk product, all right? Yeah. I understand it's from your wife. Yeah. But when it poses a risk, yeah. we must take it away, even if it is um, something very close to you, OK? If it's not allowed, sir, we must take it, all right? All right. So I'll just get you your paperwork now, then you can be on your way, all right? Yeah. OK, just wait one more moment. Thank you. The passenger is allowed to take home the dairy-free box of sweets, but it's cold comfort. I feel sorrow, but <coughs> no worries, no worries. Thank you, sir. OK, bye-bye. A small worm has already been found on a shipment of kiwi fruit from Italy, but it's not the only creature living in the fruit. I just found the mite here as well, 0.7 millimetres, very, very small. Both bugs are taken to the quarantine entomology team for identification. Well, there's two different specimens in here. One's what we know as uh, beetle mite or Oribatida. Biosecurity Australia has deemed that they're not of quarantine concern. So the tiny mite is not a risk to Australia, but it's a different story for the larva. The other specimen we've got in here is a leaf roller caterpillar, and they are a known pest of fruit trees. The caterpillars will eat through the fruit. As they're moths, they can fly around, so they can spread quite rapidly. So that's why we'd consider it of quarantine concern. The entire shipment of kiwi fruit will now have to be fumigated with methyl bromide to destroy the caterpillars. It, it's a fine, safe way of treating it. So the fruit, it's still fine to eat. The gas gets pumped into the container with the kiwi fruit, and after two hours, the kiwi fruit can be released. The gas just dissipates, and it's fine to go off to market then. In immigration, a passenger has admitted to being jailed in the UK for drug trafficking. Now he needs to convince Officer Ross that he should be allowed right. to enter the country and start his working holiday. Righto, Jared. 
I'll give you the opportunity now to demonstrate to me why I should not cancel your visa. Right. The reason I think you should not cancel my visa is, since, since you've met me today, and since all day today, I have been 100% honest. I have seen your copy of my form, and I can see that I don't know. For whatever reason, I do not know. I will take a polygraph or whatever. I was 100% adamant. I said yes and explained what I'd actually done. I did do wrong, I hold my hands up. I did drive that van with that cannabis seven years ago, but I really feel I have done my time. This offence that you did commit, it was a very, very serious offence. Yep, I've never denied that. I've consulted with our manager, mm -hmm. and because of the seriousness of the offence, mm -hmm. we will cancel your visa today on character grounds. The next process is for me to arrange removal, which means I will arrange for a flight back to England to for you. Yeah. Because of the severity of the, the offence that he did commit, it would not be right for him to enter our community, and it wouldn't be right for the community either. So destroying. Yes, I done wrong. I drove a cannabis about. Didn't kill anyone, didn't rape anyone, didn't mug anyone. I'm not a suicide bomber, I'm not met weapons of mass destruction, nothing at all. And there's just no leniency. Nah, go home, goodbye, don't want to know. It's just unfair, extremely unfair, I think.